All right, so I went to go ahead and check the wiki on getting some warm clothing. I want to get it now rather than later before I head to bed because I want to go do some AFK fishing. So I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to follow this guide and basically see where it takes me. So since we're already in Camelot, well, y'all know that this thing is like really close by. So we'll go get it. By the way, I don't know if y'all can tell this, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm freaking drunk, dude. I'm freaking drunk after the last three days of like, on average, six to nine hours of streaming straight away. And that was way before I started to go do some camming. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really, really tired. I'm not going to camp tonight. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted after the last three days. It's, it's been pretty rough on me, if, if we're being honest here. But you know what? I had fun doing it all. And uh, you know what? I'm excited. I'm really excited. I enjoy that y'all enjoyed this weird shit show of a series. It really brings me joy. So if this is correct, this is where the first Clue Hunter item will be. And it is. We got the blue, we got the freaking boots, and the gloves. So according to the second one, should be, uh-oh, should be right here. Let's see. Current castle. Okay. Wait, wait, what the frick do the bear wants me? Alright, it should be in this area. I think. Wait a second. It's on Karamja. Okay, so we want to go to Ardo. Ardoween. Ardoween. Oh. I would be the one to unequip my cape, wouldn't I? Alright, Kandarin teleport. And then we'll just we'll just go ahead and we'll teleport to uh Brimhaven and we'll go from there. Alright, y'all. We'll see. Yes. Got the pants. There's only one more item left for us to go. And I believe this one, the helmet. It's not technically a warm item. I think. Okay, so we need to go to Yanel. Yanel. Wait, what other item are we missing? Has to be. Oh, the cape. We're missing the cape and the. Uh... So that's what we'll do. We'll go to. No. Where am I going? I'm way too drunk for this to figure this out. <laughs> fishing trawler, yo. We need to go to fishing trawler. Um, all right, this should be the place. Yep, there we are. There we are. We basically look like Raz now. Officially look like Raz. So there's one more piece. Now this piece doesn't actually have any bonuses, but this is a cosmetic item. And this is basically at where it all began before we went on this travesty of a... Uh, of a freaking quest for this gear. We're gonna need this for when we go to the winter tard. All right, y'all, here we are. We're ready to get our helmet. And we got our helmet. Yeah, boy, here we are. Do we look sick? Sick, man, we are ready to do the winter tard. I am so excited. This was very successful. Let's go AFK fish and edit some videos. Nah, bro. You thought I was freaking done with this? You really thought I was done with this? Nah, I had to get 50 fire making. Because you know what? No Attila the Hun ain't gonna get out of the Great Wall. The Great Firewall of China with this 50 fire making. We are officially ready for the Winter Daddy. After I get my hands on a rune axe. Which if y'all know... We're getting about ready to do that. Maybe we'll do that soon. Who knows? But anyway. Who knows? But you know what? 
But you know what? But you know what? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe we'll see. But for real, anyone. Enjoy the outro. I love y'all. Take care. Happy Thursday morning, Raz. It's been a hell of a week so far. It's hard to believe, though. It's, it's finally Thursday. Um, you know, three three days ago, we were only just starting this journey. And now, now look at us. We've... We've climbed quite a, b a great deal. We've gained a lot of levels and a lot of totals. And I couldn't have done this journey without you, Raz. I love you, bro. I miss you. Hope you're looking down on the series, just chuckling your head like, Jesus Christ. She would have kicked my ass. <laughs> Listen, we're out, of, we're out of the 200 fishing bait, so I'm taking you in my pocket, and we're going to go use the uh, rest of the 200 feathers up, and I'm going to train some cooking for a little bit. You know, I got to get that winter Todd grind, you know, about started right now, you know. And there we are, sea slug quest completed, up to 68 quest points, 7.1k fishing XP, oyster pearls. And we are now up to 36 fishing. Let's go. All right, so I just finished this up, Raz. You know, we, we, we had a really good fishing trip. We got a lot of fish. You know, we're, we're getting relatively close to 40 fishing. Um, I don't really have any other bait. I don't think I do. So we might have to, we might have to use like small net fishing to get the last, uh, XP for 40 and then we'll go from there. Um, and then I think, uh, I think we'll clean up the bank a little bit. We have like a lot of stuff in there that we can, uh, kind of work from, from the fishing trawler when I, when we went to go ahead and do that. I think like a lot of crafting supplies and a lot of cooking stuff. Like, look at this. Raz, we got a lot of fish to cook. So let's hop to it. All right, I just hit 31 uh, cooking. And this is basically the last bit of my food right here. Here, I'll show you for a fact. Just just so you know, because I, I, I don't understand if you know that this is all. I decided to cook the rest of the shrimp anyway. I was going to save them for cats, but this is my third cat that's going to grow up to overgrown. And by the time I get any more food that I need to feed a cat, well, it'll be self-sustained in itself. I think by the time I get to winter tot or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But this cat, this cat doesn't need any more food. So, um, yeah, there we go. We are completely out of food. We got 31 cooking got oh actually we still have herring interesting do i have anything else that's wrong i don't think i do oh i take it back never mind that's what i get for being tired this morning all right so i got done with uh with all the cooking opening up these things finding out these are 41 fletching and i not even sure if I'm even allowed to get 50 fletching, to be honest. So if I can't get fletching, then I won't fletch them at all. But anyway, I did get 37 cooking. So I'm like 2K XP away from uh, 38. Um, so we have a lot to do today, but uh, we're just, we're just going to go ahead and do some quests. So probably that's what we'll do. Um... Let me see. I have like two pieces of damaged armor. I might do something with it, but I'm not sure. But onwards. So I just liquidated my bank in order to do a quest here. Um, the quest is going to be really dangerous. I'm going to need a little bit of armor to do it because I don't have prayer. So we're going to just chuck the bank here real quickly. We're going to buy rune plate legs. Cost us an arm and a leg of 64k. I don't think there's anything here, but we're going to get a rune full helm as well. Um, and that's going to be in Keldegram. It's important for later. Even though I'm never going to use melee ever in my life. It's good to have the rune plate legs just for the quest that we're going to do because it's going to keep us alive. So here's an example for right now. My magic bonus is 41. When I equip it, it drops to 30. 
but my defensive stats go from the single digits all the way up to 55, which will keep us alive for the quest that we're about to take today. Um, the Rune Full Helm is just going to increase those stats further while keeping magic level high as possible in order to not take as much damage. Ha, uh, boys, we figured out what killed me. We figured out what killed me. Holy frick, dude. Holy frick. I can't even loot everything on the ground. I can't loot everything on the ground. I want to, but like, he's like, nah, it is, it's not happening, you plebe. It's not happening. Holy frick, dude. We're going to die here if we try to loot this. Oh my god. Come on. Click. Click harder. Click harder. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh frick. Oh frick. Oh frick. Oh frick. 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 Holy frick, dude. This is stressful. This is stressful, dude. No. No. Leave me alone. 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 Oh my god. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god dude no 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 this is this is ridiculous should i get the rest of these wines or is it even worth it at this point i'm already out of run energy how many jugs of wine there's still a lot okay we're doing it we're doing it holy frick holy frick holy frick holy frick wait is this a safe spot Oh god. 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 Oh freaking lord. Oh freaking lord. Oh freaking lord. Oh freaking lord. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. All right. How is that for content in plebeians? They're all here to execute people and murder them in the wilderness. That is what this place is all about. All about the people that break the laws and don't even care one bit about them. This is a place of villainy and cruelty. Look at all these PKers right here. Holy frick, dude. We have to be really careful around this area. To be real talk, if we're being honest. You never know what they're gonna do. And now that we know where the skeleton boss is, we can finally not live. I think I will stay till 11 p.m. Max. Yo, yo, okay, okay. So we just, so come, come look at the bag here. Come look at the bag here. We just got an upgrade for the rune kite shield. So we are going to, we are essentially going to bank this because we don't want to lose. We don't want to lose. How do I? We don't want to lose the rune kite shield that we got. So we're going to go ahead and bank it. Right. So this, someone opened up this gate and they are just, they're not coming down here. They're causing me a lot of anxiety and I just got the kill here. And I'm like, kind of stressing out. It's like, should I world hop or should I like, I don't know, like, kind of freaking out here. <laughs> A little bit freaking out. <laughs> but uh, I'll still, I'll still log out if I need to. Holy frick, dude, I'm stressed. Quite stressed. My anxiety is up the roof right now for this grind. I was so tripping out. That was a clue scroller. And he just ran away. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> my heart just skipped a beat. Alright, y'all. 46 magic coming in clutch. Giving me a total level of 500. Look at this. 500 total level. And I am 44.6 combat level. I moved up to a combat bracket, a couple combat brackets from being here. Still on the grind, as usual. All right, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is like the third clue scroller in the grind right here. And I used to freak out, but like right now, right now I just accept that these clue scrollers are a part of the landscape and they'll always be here. So now I'm just, I don't freak out about them anymore. I freak out about the PKers though, but not the clue scrolls. They're essentially a, another NPC to this whole grind. <laughs> Except you don't want to attack them because they're probably stronger and will kill you. <laughs> All 
All right, so during our grind, we finally hit past the 681 uh, XP mark. So I'm now casting defensive magic. So now we will only gain magic. Oh my freaking god. Are you kidding me? I don't need another kite shield. I need a rune full helm and a rune axe. Why? Why? Jagex, just... Just why? Tell me. Tell me why. Why are you doing this to me, dude? Oh my god. I can't believe this, dude. Why is this happening? Why is my RNG so bad? I need the rune axe or a rune full help. Preferably both. Not another rune kite. But it is worth GP. I just already have one. And Jagex, why? Why? Look at this. Two rune kites and 14 KC. Oh my god. By the way, I don't know if you can hear this, but uh, there's some more lawn work going out in the front yard. So I'm sorry if uh, the volume is a little bit too loud. I love y'all. It looks like I'm actually going to die here because I didn't go back. I'm going to lose a lot of stuff, but... Uh, uh, let me see if I can... It looks like I'm going to die here. Holy frick. Well, at least I kept the rune kite shield. So that's, uh, that's at least good. Um. I don't think I'm gonna live here. I don't even have prayer, so I don't even, like, I, un I don't understand why, why he's, uh, rip. It's okay. I, I did keep the rune kite shield at least. I, I'm down by a lot of runes. And I'm kind of poor now. So I have to consolidate my bank and I gotta buy some more runes. And I gotta go back. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, so basically just finishing up. Buying the rest of uh, Aubrey's, Aubrey's rune pa packs. Um, we're gonna head back to Lava Dragons, I think. One more trip. Alright, so that was sus. I I'm pretty sure he's like stream sniping me, but I don't know. I don't know if that was the same person. I don't know. I'll have to look back at the clips, but I'm I'm not going back to the wilderness. I'm just going to go and I I'm out of gold. I'm out of like a lot of gold, a lot of GP. So I'm not I'm not going back to the wilderness. I lost so much GP there. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm so glad I have this rune armor here because. Um, okay, well, I'm poisoned now, so that's not good, because, you know, I can't, I, I can't make a po anti-poison, so I can't really buy an anti-poison. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad I bought this rune armor, because it just reduces, um, reduces so much armor. I'm so happy that the rune dragons actually dropped me a kite shield, and a black, I mean, a rune, rune kite shield, and a rune, a rune plate legs, because that really, it really impacts. The hell is this lizard man, dude? I don't even know. I didn't know that we were trying to ascend to uh, becoming lizard men, lizard men shamans or something. I'm not. I'm not really too sure what's happening, but I know that we both have high magic resistance apparently because I can't hit him worth a damn, and he's just flexing on me. And now I got 47 magic coming in clutch for me to actually hit him more accurately. Dude, that's pretty pog. Poggies. Now I'm just missing. Oh my god, why does he keep weakening me? Just, just die already. Holy frick. What is happening, bro? Why is your magic resistance so high? I, I, I keep hitting you more, but you just keep missing me. I don't understand this game. Does it... I'm curious though, because I think I feel like his only attack is air, air strike or water strike or weaken. He's pretty weak for a level 75, dude. Not even gonna deny it. I just know I can't hit him, and he can't hit me either. I hit base 45 combat, by the way, when I hit that 47 magic. But he's finally dead. 
not really too sure. I don't remember having to fight a dude. But, uh, it happened. You know, I'm going to be tanking these guys like a boss since I can't use protection prayers. So this, this is just freaking great for me, dude. I hit a max, I got a max hit of six on me. Real question is, can I get over here? I'm not even really sure. But I'm poisoned, and this sucks. This really sucks. I gotta put on my mage robe so I can actually use magic too. Because if I leave the melee, me leave the melee gear on, it's gonna like negate how much magic I can cast. So that's not what we want. We just want that when we're trying to like run to one place to the other. All right, so we use the canopic jar on here. I don't know what we're doing. Where do we put this? All right, so now we gotta jump over. Oh, apparently I need uh, I need a bit more run energy before I can I can jump over the pot. I don't know how much run energy I need, but uh, I guess I'll go to the bathroom and just chill out here. Then I guess. Um. Are they performing, like, the ceremony? Yeah, it looks like they are. Oh, this guy has higher magic resistance than the last guy did, it seems like. We'll see. We'll see if I can actually kill him before he kills me. It's really taking a sweet time to kill him. <laughs> all right, it looks like it looks like I'm gonna kill him after all. It's certainly taking taking this time. <laughs> all right, nice, nice, nice. Let me uh, heal up. Oh, a magic potion. I don't know if I'll ever need this for something, but I'll keep it. For Dude, look at these sexy salad robes meeting this dude in the desert. It's so... F <laughs> it's so scuffed, dude. It looks so weird. It's like, what is this? What, what, why is a pk -er in my in my tomb? <laughs> it's like the, it's like the salad robe pk -er, dude. It's so interesting. Let's see if we can make this like Indiana Jones or it'll give me a nice shortcut and I'll fall. Yes! It gave me the shortcut! It gave me the shortcut. I'm so happy. I was so happy. Let's put on this rune armor. And then let's run. Apparently I can't click further than that. <sighs> but no run energy sucks. Wait, was I supposed to do something with this canopic jar? I, I, I hope I, I don't have to do anything with it because that's gonna... I'm gonna be pissed if I have to like use something with this jar. And uh, my character is just like doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk here, it seems like. Like, look at that! Michael Jackson moonwalk! Bro, that's like legit. Legit awesome. But there we are! It's Claren's little helper has been completed. Amulet of Cat Speak, 2 quest points, 4.5k thieving XP, 4k agility XP, and 4k woodcutting XP. I'm now up to 70 quest points. And that pushes me up to 32 thieving and 32 agility. Looking kind of clean, bro. Alright, so the next quest we're going to do is a tale of two cats. Let me see, where do I start this quest? It's been a while since I last done this one. I can start this quest by speaking to Unferth in his house in Berthorpe. Berthorpe is north of the Heroes Guild in the Kingdom of Asgarnia. So can we like... Can we like... Is there like a minigame teleport there? <clears throat> there we are. We're teleporting. I guess I'll keep the canopic jar as like a, a memento for doing this quest. <laughs> it'll remind it'll remind me years to come of why I went to go to Lava Dragons in the first place to get like a full half a set of rune in the first place. Bring me good memories, you know. Uh, 
That's what we'll do. <clears throat> Never again. I'm not going to Lava Dragons anymore now that I got these rune items. I'm just salty I didn't get the rune axe and the rune full helm. Two rune kites. No, nothing. Like, look at this. This is my KC for Lava Dragons. And I died. I got PK twice, so I lost... I lost like 100k. Maybe like that, though. <laughs> oh, it gave me a bit of farming XP. Rip. I'm not supposed to gain farming XP, but it doesn't really give any, like, farming XP rewards, so I... I think we'll be okay, so long as... So long as this doesn't actually die, and I don't have to, like... I don't have to, like, check on it. But it gave me- it gave me some farming XP. Gave me 12... 12... 8... Now, so long as this doesn't die, I should be good to go. I would hate to die. Okay, so we'll add the chocolate cake. Give him milk. And then, uh... Add logs to the fire. Start the fire. Make the bed. Alright, that's everything. Oh, we have to shear his hair. So I'll we'll shear it. And then shear him again. Alright, he, he's pretty much bald at this point. We can probably agree that, right? I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> he went from looking from like Rexy to Frame to looking like freaking Oda Block, dude. He went straight to becoming Oda Block in two seconds flat. <laughs> so, like, if you think about it, for at first he looks like he looks like a mangy Kimp Q. And then he became, he became a, a raggedy Rexy in Tanzu Rotoso. And he went from there to looking like framed, from framed looking like Oda Block. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, LMAO, dude. <laughs> Holy frick, dude. He looks like Oda Block. All right, so what's in the tale of two cats here? Okay, so Bob gave me a list of chores to do in Umford's house. And uh, I basically did everything. The only thing we're waiting on now is, I believe, what? Let me see. Tend to the garden, which we're gonna have to wait until it grows. So we could probably like move on to something else to do until it does. So, uh. I think it takes like 15 minutes, so what time is it right now? Okay, so when it when it says 1931, we'll come back and check on the garden. So until then, I guess we'll I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mine some essence. I think uh I think we could do that. I don't think that's a I do need to get more rune crafting up, because I do need I do need more runes. So we can we can just mine essence for about fifteen minutes. I don't think that's a big deal. Really, if I keep you moving the chat, it's gonna get into a, like a weeb stream, and I don't want that. I don't want this to become a weeb stream. But we just hit twenty nine mining, and this is a legitimate reason to take a recording of this clip. And ooh, 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 harder, you know? You know what I mean? All right. Let's, we're going to get 30 mining. And then we're going to go check on Unferth. I don't know why, but I'm so brain dead. I've been going the wrong way after I went back with my kitty. And I don't know why. Because I said it in the chat that I needed to go back to the bank 
and I went and teleported to Lumbridge, going to that bang instead of this bang, and then when I come back up here, I go into this bang. <laughs> oh, they freaked it. I went to two banks, and I didn't need to use a teleport app. Holy crap, dude. I'm so brain dead. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I want my vegan chili, dude. I'm making vegan chili tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hungry. I'm not gonna lie. This is such a wholesome day. I'm actually quite impressed with this with this quest, and I'm like really happy, you know, that the cat, the cats get to go on a beautiful date, make sweet love, date everybody, and uh, end up in a very wholesome relationship chat because this this is important for two lovers to get together and become one with one another and marry, marry off into the other sunlight of the abyss. And you know what, chat? I love this. This is cute and wholesome. <sighs> See, look at them. They found their best friend. The best friend, the King Black Dragon. I wonder... noob like the noob is gonna freaking die clearly clearly he didn't really he didn't really think about this one very well I think it's cute that I can turn my head in a certain certain way and it's like really adorable. I'm not really sure how this camera works, but we can do cute things. And it can glitch out. And we can be the king of Gillinor apparently. Ugh. See? And we're back. And we're back. We're back, y'all. Let's get on with this chat. Alright. All right, and the tale of two cats is complete. Two quest points and a mysterious present. 72 quest points in total. Let's take a look at this chat. Look at this, we're gonna get some XP. We gotta go, we gotta go get this defense XP, dude. I need the defense XP. Give it to me. Give it to me. Defense. Yeah. 48 defense. This will still be 48 defense, but it'll give me XP. GG. Thank you, brah! Yeah. <laughs> so wholesome. So wholesome, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing improperly, dude. SMH. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to freaking, um, I don't know, like Lumbridge or something. We've already completed this. Let's get started on our other quest. Now, it wasn't working earlier, so when I put my hands up in the air and I go a little crazy, it kind of tracks it, dude. It's a little bit weird, but it works. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, that's enough. That is enough. That is enough, dude. Let's, let's. All right, all right, all right. Well, I, I'm getting a little bit carried away here, but can I do this? So, no, it just raises. Okay, so I'm actually like. Okay, first of all, I don't know. It is what it is, though. But let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Next quest, baby. <clears throat> all right, round two. I guess we'll, uh. We'll do this and probably die, you know? Because, uh, that's, uh. 
That's how it works, you know? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's not die. <laughs> oh god. I ate that food. I didn't need to eat it. I, don't, I thought I was, think I was going to take a 18 or something. Holy shizness. I just took a 15, bro. That's a little bit unnecessary. Hmm. Alright, trap, trap, trap. Oh my god, I got hit by the trap. Wait, that's weird. Oh no, what's happening? What the frick, dude? <sighs> oh, that's aggravating. I can't believe it made me do that. Twice in a row, too. Okay, this is not gonna go so well, so I'm actually going to safe up. Even though I don't need to. Um, I'm gonna put on steel skin. And uh, hopefully that helps to pass through. Because we have to go this way. Holy frick. I don't know why, but I could not click on that. But it, it lasted. That one prayer point actually made the difference. Okay, I'm lagging the hell right now. I might be being doxxed or something. Holy frick. Okay, let's go this way. Um... No, like, I am seriously lagging here. Do you not see this? Holy frick. That's a little bit aggravating, because it's like... <sighs> yeah, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. I'll give it a go. Hmm. Alright, where we... Do we go... That's right, we go this way. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. <sighs> this is not working out for me. I cannot stay in this laggingness, dude. I don't even know why I have to end up lagging. Here we go, though. We're at the end. We're at the end, and that's what matters, so... Here we go. Alright, so that's Kalos's body. It looks like Kalos has died. Um, okay, there's Miza. Alright, alright. Okay, uh, Drainer Village. Hassan, Traitorous, Ali, uh, Leela. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Maiza has agreed to tell the exiled residents to soften him to return if I bring Osman to her. So now we have to teleport back to Lumbridge. Probably recharge our prayer because we're gonna need that for when we go back down there um, So I will I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now while we have the opportunity even though it's only one prayer point You know that one prayer point that actually makes the difference It really does He has died and uh, We're kind of just uh, We're kind of just gonna go in for it. You know what I mean? Like You're, you're gonna have to you're just gonna have to, like, see for yourself. <laughs> Holy frick, dude. Alright. I wasn't gonna have- I didn't want to do this because this would make the game, like, super easy. And... You know what? I'm gonna- I don't really have much of a choice, bro. Um... As you can see, uh... 
I had to bring the tank because oh my god I I don't know I had one misclick for some reason I could not go up the ladder so we died and we lost like a lot of stuff down there right so we're kind of just gonna you know risk it for the biscuit try and reclaim our stuff if possible and I'm gonna try and tank it on this account right here um, and I think everything's gonna work out let me put my pen in real I'm not sure how much GP I need, but uh, I guess this will do. Receive regardless. Um, and then we just travel. We just kind of travel, you know? Go to Palnevich. Palnevich. I'm not sure if uh, he's attacking, but I'm uh, I'm gonna see if he follows aggro-wise. If that means that he's gonna box. If he's gonna box for this guy. Um, let me see. I'm in aggro range, so I can just... I can kind of just tank, like, right there. Now I just have to get my main character over here. I have no run energy, so this will be... Be rather interesting to see how this works out. Hmm. This is definitely not how, you, how one is supposed to play RuneScape. Just... Kind of remember this. Keep this in the back of your head. Um, I don't have a lantern. Uh, I didn't really think this one through. Okay. Better yet, let's get back here. Alright, we have to trade over a lantern. I, now, that was like a different instance, so it was kind of weird. Wait a second. Can I... Can I not trade this over? Offer? Wait. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god, dude. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Alright, I forgot one more thing. I need to get a tender box. The timer is going to go off. I'm running out of time to do this. But, uh... Should be okay. I find it interesting how how they're how they're able to you know pause the timer. I think that's ph phenomenal. Okay, let's give this cash stack over. Hmm. Now I'm curious. Let's see if this works. If if this works in theory. Okay, good. Okay, good. This is perfect. This is perfect. So it does work. So they are in the same instant zone when they come down here. So let's... Okay, let's do this. This will work out for me then. Um, so if this is accurate... Then... Oh, no, no, no. This is not... Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Um, uh -oh. We're about to have two men, Dad. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let me climb back down. Proceed, yeah. Um, so my lantern went out. So that was pretty interesting. So my lantern went out down here. Um, so we do need two tinder blocks. I think it has something to do with like how you get hit and how many times you get hit. Um, so that's interesting. I think that's an interesting interaction. All right, let's try this again, but... Oh God, so now we're tanking it. Oh god. I'm out of run energy and this thing is like not targeting my main or my alt, which is really weird. 
Okay, so let me see this. So is the... Let me see. I want to want to put this in the eyesight so it can like it can properly tank. You know what I mean? I'm also gonna have to trade over some stuff here. All right. So if I auto follow, maybe maybe it'll work. Let me let me go downstairs first here. Oh my god, this is this is not gonna work out. Unless, okay, okay, this might work out. So I don't know if this is, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Okay, it says they're attacking, so let's just, okay, let's see if this works out. Oh my God, this freaking worked. This worked, dude. <laughs> It freaking worked! I'm so freaking happy, dude. I might die here, actually. Oh my god, I gotta brew up, I gotta brew up, I gotta brew up. <laughs> the only thing I didn't bring was uh, an attack potion. But holy frick, dude, it works. Alright. Let's go, Navy Seal. Holy frick. Ooh. Holy frick, dude. Okay. Um, I'm not really too sure what we're doing here. Um, but my ring of life never triggered. Okay, so let me let me add some stuff to you. Let me get my shield back. Okay. So the next room, this is all magic. Um. So let me auto. Let me auto follow. Oh no, oh no. I did not consent to this. I did not consent to this. Let's see if it auto follows. Well, that works out fine, dude. There we go. We're down here. Give me some of your stuff. Now that you're down here, I suppose I should get like the rest of the food here. Um. Did my bullseye lantern go out? Oh no, those are my bullseye lanterns. Okay. Uh, let me let me give one bullseye lantern. Oh wait, that didn't work out. Okay, trade, trade. All right. Here we go to my grave. This is gonna be rather interesting because. I'm not really too sure what to make of this. <laughs> but uh, here we are, we're finally done here, yeah. Wait a second, so I just came here for no reason. What? Osman has one or two things to take care of, but he's agreed to maybe. Guys, I was supposed to, oh no. I was supposed to talk to him first. Oh, 